What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So in today's video, we're going to be building the 1976 AMC Pacer from the movie Wayne's World. A very well-known comedy movie from the 90s, specifically 1992. Now the vehicle we're going to be using for this build is obviously if it's a Class A Rhapsody, which is perfect because this car is mainly based on the AMC Pacer and even offers the side flames as an option similar to the one from the movie, which of course is a direct reference. Now the Rhapsody can be found on the Seven Center Andreas website for a normal price of 140000 which honestly is a great deal considering the prices of everything else in game. I think it's a pretty solid deal for this car. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the builds for the AMC Pacer from Wayne's World. Alright, Wayne's World AMC Pacer, let's do it. So as always for these builds, I like to do the full performance internal mod, so I'm going to do that here. Armor, brakes, bumpers. So the car did not have a front splitter, so you're going to keep the stock here. There's only front bumper option, okay. Engine, max it out, exhaust. Um, now the real car only had a single exit exhaust, you don't want to put any of these options um, here or the side exhaust either, so I'm going to keep that stock. Fenders. So this one's very important. So you have the side flames and you have the flared arches and side flames. So the car didn't have fla uh, flared fenders. They were just very um, subtle like this. So the regular side flames is the one you're going to do. Hood. You're going to keep this stock as well. The car had a smooth hood. Lights. Keep that stock. Plate. So the plate on the real car was an Illinois plate, and the uh, text was F3B space 259. So that was the text there for it. Um, in terms of a background to make it look somewhat like that, I mean, the Illinois plate kind of has like a stripe on the top, so I guess we'll do the blue on white one. Um, and obviously, Rockstar still hasn't done their website yet for plates, so we can't do a matching custom plate, so we're going to have to stick with the generic text here. Respray. So for this one, you can go to Classic Blue. Sorry, Classic, and then <laughs> go to the Blue section. Uh, and this is going to be a very close color. Is going to be the um, Classic Light Blue. So probably the closest out of anything we have in here. You can also go with Ultra Blue and alternatively. Um, but in reality, it's somewhere between Light Blue and Ultra Blue. Somewhere in between there. Kind of like a Golf Blue almost. The real color is called Sky Blue. Um, but I, I want it to be a little more accurate, but you cannot go wrong with light blue. But um, I went ahead and did a um, custom crew hex my buddy Alan helped me with. Um, so kind of like a nice golf blue. So here it is right here. And I think this looks a lot closer. So that's what we're going to do there. Um, let's just make sure there's no pearl. Oh, yeah. So we want no pearl on this. Make sure it's black. Secondary color, you're going to make that match. And of course, I will leave the uh, hex to this color down below in the description for those of you who want to use it for this or maybe a Golf 4 GT or Porsche build um, or whatever you want to do with it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's basically like a Golf Blue for the most part. So yeah, so we got there. So primary and secondary, same color. Spoiler upgrade, the car did not have any spoiler upgrade, so you're going to leave that stock. Suspension. The car sat pretty much at stock right height. Um, I think this is perfect. I don't think it's worth lowering it. Um, so we're going to keep that stock there. Transmission will upgrade. Turbo, we don't want the turbo sound, so we'll skip that. Um, wheels. So the car actually had... Um, the front wheels were different than the rear wheels. So it did not have a full matching set. It was really weird. Um, so the front wheels are kind of like the, the hubcaps. And then the rear was... I'll kind of show both here. Um, let's start with the rears. So the rears, we'll go to muscle here, then we'll go to chrome. And the rears kind of look like the drag SPLs. So that's probably the closest you're going to get. And then the front wheels um, is a bit more tricky. I like to go to the lowrider category, go chrome. And then uh, 
the closest is probably going to be classic rods, but if you look closely, the wheels did have, the front ones, that is, did have, um, like, holes in the uh, cub cap on the edge. So you can probably get away with super fin or a turbine, but probably more like the super fin one. But it doesn't have that sort of, like, hub cap look. Um, so classic rods is probably the way to go. Now, you cannot actually separate front and rear wheels to have them not matching. So you, you kind of have to choose what you want. So you want the drag SPLs all the way around or the classic rods. Personally, I think the classic rods just look better. So we're going to do that. If you're wondering how I have free chrome wheels, I did make a video on that a while ago. Um, I guess I'll leave that link down below in the description as well. All right. Um, do, do Windows. The car did not have any tints, so you're going to keep that stock as well. And that's all the options there. All right. Let's take it for a drive. Exit to ground. And this car is called the Rhapsody, which is a reference to, of course, the Bohemian Rhapsody song. And, you know, that scene that they did in the movie. So very cool. Yeah, that color is fantastic. A little saturated. It would be nice if it was a little bit more on the blue side. But um, Social Club is really kind of like touchy when it comes to the golf blue. I don't know why. I tried like three different golf blue text with ending it in 00AAFF for those of you who know all the little tricks. And none of them were working. So uh, this is the one that worked. So that's the one I went with. But um, yeah, here's the interior. It's just a generic muscle car interior, which isn't too bad. Um, obviously, in the movie, they had the cup dispenser in here. They have the Twizzler dispenser thing at the top and a, all the little <laughs> fun stuff there. But, um, but yeah, all right. Let's floor it here. This car is rear-wheel drive, which I love. It makes it a lot nicer to drive than front-wheel drive. And back in the day, this used to be the king of the compacts class for most tracks because of the spoiler upgrade, the fact that it was rear-wheel drive, pretty quick. Um, now, we don't have a spoiler upgrade on this one, so it's, it is a bit sketchy <laughs> without the rear spoiler. But it's a it's a quick car. It's still a very... It's not slow by any means. It's still a very quick car. First person here. Man, it's a great thing to have. I mean, if you really like make every single popular movie car possible, which I'm, I'm trying to do with this series, just most of the popular ones, um, you, you can fill up... I mean, a lot of garages with movie cars for those of you who like doing that, so... Um, yeah, I'm probably going to expand to... Because right now I have one 10-car garage full of movie cars. I'm probably going to do a second. Um, once we get that 50-car garage, I'm going to move some of my cars around. Um, and uh, definitely uh, make a, a second one. So I'll have 20 movie cars total instead of the 10. And sorry if my voice sounds a little bit, you know, different. Um, I am, like little sick so yeah bear with me here <laughs> all right let's uh pull over and open all the doors and stuff here it looks so cool i love that like you instantly know what it is you know the flames on the side the fact rockstar put the flames and called it rhapsody is amazing like that was done on purpose <laughs> all right vehicle doors let's go all so here's the engine model been used in quite a few cars. Texture quality is not the best, but as to be expected. Here's the interior. Muscle car interior I already talked about. Now in the movie, they did have the two other guys sitting in the back seat, but obviously in GTA, and you have to you actually have to have a door to sit in the back, so it has to be a four-door to have passengers in the back, but and then here's the hatch. I love it. Very, very cool. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I, I love this build. This one was fun. Um, not too many options. I mean, it, it is basically a stock AMC Pacer just with some flames on the side and different wheels. But for the most part, it is pretty stock. It's not anything crazy. Um, and I'm glad Rockstar gave us a car that looks like, so close to it. Um, definitely a great addition to have and a great reference. But uh, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Definitely let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.